Hey everybody, it is me again, as you can tell, or at least I hope you can tell this evening. Um, it is me again. Can't forget my normal line. Um, let me see guys, today is Sunday, April 3rd. Makes it day 93 on our project serving mower. I'm so tickled guys. I found my blue Sharpie. I had lost my blue Sharpie or thought I lost it. So uh, I've been having to use a green Sharpie for about the last, I don't know, week and a half. And uh, I put on a sweatshirt today to walk outside this evening after the sun went down. And uh, when I started to reload a little bit and uh, found my blue Sharpie in my pocket of my sweatshirt. So uh, that's how you know when your life's boring, when finding a, a Sharpie tickles you. <laughs> but no, uh, it is good to be here tonight, guys. I'm glad everybody's here. I hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, I hope everybody does all right through these uh, storms. I know they're giving uh, storms for us. And Dad said a while ago, he looked on the Weather Channel, and it looked to him like it was stretching all the way from Pennsylvania, up in Pennsylvania, down, plumb into Texas. So um, some of you that watch this probably... <laughs> Uh, between Pennsylvania and Texas, I'd say probably some of you may live there. So uh, I just pray that the, these line of storms, I know that the wind's already starting to pick up. I was out there, like I said, reloading. And, you know, every now and then the wind would blow and I could kind of feel the garage, uh, you know, how you can uh, feel the uh, the wind hit you and the side and kind of pop and crack. And, you know, you can hear the wood popping and cracking and stuff like that. So, uh, I hope they don't get too bad, I tell you, I just, uh, every time seems like, and that's one thing I dread about spring, you know, you're always having storms in the springtime, so that means, you know, uh, every time you sneeze, the TV's out, you know, the cable goes out every time you have high winds and stuff, and, uh, you know, cable's out, internet's out, sometimes the power goes out, and just stuff like that, so, uh, I hope that don't happen with this, with this series of storms, but. Uh, all we can do is pray about it. But anyway, guys, uh, like I said, I hope everybody's doing all right. It got up to 70 something here today. 73, 74, maybe. Uh, I think that was directly in the sun. Now, it didn't, to be honest, it didn't feel hardly that warm, but now it, it still felt pretty good. Um, so, like I said, I think they're giving that weather for the next few days. So, I, I, I hope we're out of the cold weather anyway. But, um, like I've been saying, guys, as soon as this weather just gets a little better, I'm going to make you guys some vids. Uh, I'm going to make you a vid, maybe, of something with my new camera that I bought, my new uh, glasses with the camera in it. I'm going to try those out. Uh, don't know really what I'm going to do with that yet. The trick with those is, I was thinking about doing a reloading vid with them the other day, because it would really help me. You know, instead of me having to set a camera up on a tripod or sit here and hold it with one hand and do everything with the other, you know, I could just slip these glasses on, you know, over top of these and just go to town. But the only problem is when you're doing that kind of stuff and you do a lot of this, you know, looking and kind of real quick stuff, it kind of makes for bad video. I mean, it uh, kind of makes a person watching it kind of sick, to be honest about it, at their stomach. You know, like if you're on a motorcycle or something and you're not really looking and doing things here close, you know, it, it's when you can see way out there and you're not really moving your head that much, it's not too bad. But uh, I think maybe for up close video, it, it's, it's too much, you know. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to try to figure out some vids to make you guys. Uh, like I said, just maybe when the weather cooperates and, and uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, we can start working with the doors open at the garage. And this and that, you know, I can get you some vids made. But anyway, guys, I, I'm going to get to it real quick here tonight. I'm going to try to make this vid short. I've not answered comments yet today, but that's the reason I'm trying to get this vid in and make it short is so I can get two comments. So, uh, you know, I've kind of used today to rest, to be honest about it, and I wish I hadn't have now. Uh, but, you know, I didn't get near as much done today as I wanted to, but you know how that goes. So anyway, guys, let's get to the important part tonight. And that is, of course, God's Word. That's why we're here. I mean, I, I jibber-jabber a lot. 
and uh, try to give you the testimony, you know, my testimony, and try to help you every way that I can, and, uh, you know, but we're actually, you know, that's why we're here, is for God's Word, and uh, I actually kind of preached on that today, I preached on uh, doing things, you know, like getting out and having hobbies, golf, riding motorcycles, shooting guns, I mean, whatever the hobby may be, hobbies and entertainment, you know, what? how does God feel about that, and I was, you know, going over the part, you know, uh, going over the part, just going over the, you know, the tenets that, you know, God, as long as we're lifting God up and upholding him, not doing it in sin, you know, not just blatantly sinning, you know, as long as we're giving God the glory, glorifying and magnifying God in, in these things that we're doing, God don't care for us to do them. As a matter of fact, I think he likes us to do them so we can get out here and be a testimony to him. So, uh, Anyway, guys, let's get to it tonight. Luke chapter 5, starting in verse 24. Here we go. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go into thine house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that whereon he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. And after these things he went forth and saw a publican named Levi, or a tax collector, sitting at the receipt of custom, and he said unto him, Follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house, and there was a great company of publicans, and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with the publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call to the righteous, excuse me, call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. You know, that's self-explanatory. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine eat and drink? And he said unto them, Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. And what Jesus is saying, Jesus is saying, I'm here right now. I'm with them. They have no need to fast. You know, that's one reason we fast, you know, and pray and do these things to get closer to God. He's saying, I'm here with them. They don't need to do these things to get close to me. I'm here. But now when I leave, then they'll need to fast and pray. You know, so there's nothing wrong with them feasting and eating and, and doing these things now. You know, I'm, I'm sure they were still praying. But anyway, guys, we'll continue tomorrow. Looks like in uh, verse 36. So uh, I hope everybody ha is doing all right tonight. Like I said, I hope somebody got something out of this message. Hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, if you guys need anything, let me know as usual. Um, still, you know, like, I, like I've said before, guys, with the car questions and any of these questions, you, you know, ask me. I know the couple that I've had. I've had a couple, one from Looking for Me Marvels and one from uh, Budget Armory 1 from uh, uh, Mike and Ed. That, and I really couldn't help them. Uh, but you know, it's one of those things, some cars you can't fix just by symptoms or, you know, some cars you have to look at and test and, you know, put computers and meters and, um, uh, and that kind of thing on them, which, which Mike's car, I, I've, I, I've got an idea what might be wrong with it, but I just can't, I, I can't think of how to tell him or how to show him without having a car like his. So I'm still looking for that. But, uh, anyway, guys. I still encourage you guys to let me, you know, ask me these things. Because, you know, if it's something I've seen before, uh, or if it's something that's common, I can I can get on my resources and I can find it. So uh, if you need anything, just let me know. Uh, have patience with me on these comments. I'm going to try to do it tonight. And uh, good Lord willing, I'll be back on here tomorrow night to give you some more God's Word. Till, so till I see you guys again, good night, God bless, and I love you all.